and for trying to understand why we can't buy or do anything because we spent all of our money on lenses for paper. <laughs> In return, yes, yes, we will take all of the photos at the Christmas family portrait. <laughs> we will shoot Cousin Nick's wedding. And yes, we will show you how to use all those fancy new features on that new digital camera that you just bought that is better than ours. <laughs> Thank you, faculty. Thank you for being our instructors, our counselors, and our friends. Thank you for your patience in showing a path that may be treaded on upon for you, but is still so new for us. Thank you for pushing us when we wanted to be left alone and leaving us alone enough so that we learn how to do things on our own. We've listened to you, we've fought with you, we've questioned you, we've cried to you, We've badmouthed you, and we have been in awe of you. Thank you for your advice, critique, willingness to condense your life experiences for us in such a way, and then give them to us, so that we may be able to become better photographers, and one day steal all of your clients away from you. <laughs> and lastly, thank you, classmates. Thank you for every borrowed roll of film, for every bumped cigarette, for every conversation in the student lounge, or at the light tables, or in the stairwell, or over a beer. Thank you for every letter, phone call, every hug, every shared tear, every angry rant, and every consoling shoulder. Thank you for every partnered photo shoot, for every late night excursion, every hookup, breakup, makeup, shakeup, and wake up call. <laughs> and for every piece of advice, both existential and photographic. Thank you for the support, the suggestions, the sharing of your work, the car rides, the music recommendations, the laughter, for every backstabbing, trash-talking, drama-filled moment. For the pain, for the joy, for the awkwardness, for the love, the hate, the respect, the juicy gossip, and ultimately, the company. A million, billion, trillion thanks to you guys. So why all the thank yous? I'm done with them, by the way. The speech can start. <laughs> These things that I've mentioned, the good, the bad, the ugly, lot of them all, put together add up to this powerful thing called community. Photography by nature is a solitary act, and there is a potent, almost mystic energy contained in that solitude. But the act becomes so much more so much more. Our photos take on amazing transformation when we open ourselves up to a participation in a community of others who are doing the same thing. This doesn't mean sunshine and hugs all the time, though, as we've all experienced in the past two years. Part of being in a community also involves the arguments, the hurt feelings, the strife. Definitely. But every shared moment, every shared interaction, what it does is it informs our process. And what we gain from being in a space with others will undoubtedly serve us as we enter into the solitary meditation of making pictures. And herein lies the true power of photography. It's not in how an image will pay the bills, and it's not how famous it makes us. The power, the distilled essence of what we've learned to do at NISOP is how photographs connect us to one another. Our pictures, advertising, architecture, fine art, whatever. Our pictures are not ends unto themselves. They are the conduits that we can use to see into one another, which ends up making these distinctions, these labels, irrelevant. What I'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter what type or what genre of photograph you're making. What matters is that you are creating something and that you're sharing it with someone else. It's photography as a verb, not as a noun. Our photographs are not just products to be bought and sold. They are not just the fulfillment of a client's wishes or that body of work that lands us that swank gallery show. They are us. They are the open doors and windows that allow people to come and, if we're lucky, 
to stay a while. They are the spaces that we create so that others, especially those in our community, can visit and learn and connect. The power of our photographs is not in what you see about the subject when you look at it. It's what you learn about the author when you look through it. Okay, so here's the deal. Everyone is trying their best to navigate through the world. The existential dilemma of who am I or what should I do with my life is a cloud that hovers over us all, or at least at some point in our lives. What all of us have in common, what we share and share together, is that we've chosen the camera to help us figure it all out. We've learned the language of, the, of photography and the power of visual image. So I'm not going to stand up here and tell you to keep shooting in some kind of cheesy pep talk way. I'm going to stand up here and ask you, I'm going to ask you to get to the point where you shoot because you need to. Keep shooting because you, when you're armed with your camera, you'll go places that you normally wouldn't go. You'll talk to people, to strangers, to derelicts, to celebrities, or gasp, even members of your own family. <laughs> Keep shooting because if you don't, you'll just stay in bed all day, alone and depressed. Keep shooting because it gives you more in your life than just your job or your profession or your possessions. Keep shooting because it's what creates the distinction between surviving and living. Keep shooting because it helps you make the sense of the world, of others, and of yourself. Keep shooting because everything in the world is set up to consume. And making pictures, making images is the one of the best ways the universe has given us to contribute something back. Thank you, Nisa, for setting up this community by which I feel truly blessed. That is, in my mind, the core strength of this school. If you continue to make this place a, a place that emphasizes community, this power of shared experience, this organization will thrive regardless of the change in economies or technologies. People will come and people will stay if you make this place a destination for connection, not just a stepping stone for the next point in their careers. Make community building a priority of intention, not just a hopeful byproduct of the curriculum. Create a new position if you have to, someone whose sole responsibility is to advocate for a healthy student body. Do whatever it takes to not only teach the skills of photography, but to make our short 20-month tenure here more memorable and life-changing than it already is. Do not miss out on this opportunity to be the hub, the central force that binds so many creative people together. There was a developmental psychoanalyst by the name of D.W. Winnicott who once said something along the lines, nothing is real until it is shared. As I think about the last two years, I am overwhelmed by the sheer quantity of ups and downs we've all shared together. The births, deaths, joys, failures, losses, celebrations, all of these are so real and so vital in how their cumulative effect has brought us together. A personal thank you apart from the speech, a personal thank you um, to all of you, again, for participating in a community with me and for making everything I've gone through real, tangible, and life-altering. I hope that as each of you reflect on your own time here, that you will come away with similar feelings of gratitude. So tonight ends, the, uh, tonight marks the end of this iteration of our community, and my hope for us all is that we will one day find ourselves as members of a tribe as equally vibrant, creative, and supportive as this one. But one thing will never change, from, not for me anyway, is the memory of how much forward movement we've all made in a very short amount of time, and how much fun we've had doing it. How, you ask? Can I be so certain of this? Well, we have the pictures to prove it. Thank you.